welcome back to the channel website developer. Hello and welcome back to the channel website developer.com. I am PDRC, the channel website developer specializing in Drupal. And in this third video tutorial, looking at cool Drupal modules, I'm already aware of, but that is going to be uh, something I rely on in future video tutorials, and that is the Path Auto module. Now, before we dive into setting this up, I've got a big favor to ask. If you like these video tutorials and you want to see cool Drupal video, uh, cool Drupal module videos continue, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment to let me know. I appreciate the feedback and it also helps to promote these videos. Um, and you know, it's just something small that you can do um, to help me out. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and grab the Drupal 7 version here. Just go ahead and copy that link address. And then you're going to head back over to your Drupal site. And I've got the admin menu installed here. So that's why I have this drop down. And I've also got the update manager that comes with Drupal installed. So that's why I can click uh, install new module here. And I would just paste this URL in and then I would go install. So I've actually gone ahead and done that already. Um, but what you're going to need to do as well is head up on the uh, path auto page and grab token uh, module. So you're going to go over um, and token module is just a small module. It, definitely a cool module for Drupal, but I don't think it necessitates its own video tutorial. You would just paste that, um, that URL in and oops, and you would install that. And what token allows us to do is dynamically replace um, certain placeholders uh, in various situations. So you'll see this when we're doing our, our paths. But once you've got those two installed, we're going to go over and actually enable things. And you'll see here I've got uh, module filter installed from the first video tutorial in the series. And I'll just type in path. And you'll see here I've got path auto. So you'll want to click that off and click save configuration. It will ask you if you want to install token module as well. So you'll go ahead and do that. And once you've got that set up, you can hover over configuration, search, URL aliases, and you'll see we've got patterns. So this is where a majority of what you're going to do is going to fall within. I will walk you through the settings, bulk updating and deleting, but for the most part, what Path Auto allows us to do is create these default patterns for uh, paths for content that we create. So you'll see here, we've got all of our different uh, content types listed here, and we can create automatic paths um, for any one of these content types. Now where token module comes in is these replacement patterns. So I can click into nodes and I can say that, you know, for my articles, I always want them to be under articles slash and then I can choose the, uh, let's say the NID. So I'll click that there and you'll see it just paste in here. So now anytime I create an article, it'll be article slash one slash two slash three, whatever. Uh, and you can obviously make this anything you'd like. On my site, torontowebsitedeveloper.com, I use the node title, which doesn't always work out the best way, but it's just something that's easy and uh, helps out with my search um, engine optimization. You can also do this for taxonomy turn paths and users. Uh, and then as you install other modules, you'll see that uh, URL aliases would come up here as well. Um, in terms of the settings, I guess the biggest thing to uh, take note of is the maximum alias length, and the maximum component length, but also the update action. Uh, so another video tutorial will actually take a look at this redirect module. Um, but this creating new alias, delete the old alias, this applies to your search engine optimization as well, because if you uh, update the path and delete the old one, search engines might have that old one indexed. They come to your site, they can't find it. You have an error, you take a shot with your SEO ranking. So um, just keep this in mind when we come back to the redirect module, which will be coming up in a future video tutorial. Now, in terms of bulk updating, bulk um, aliasing, or sorry, bulk deleting, bulk updating, the reason why you might do this is if you change uh, an alias pattern, right? You want to make sure you have the redirect module installed, which we'll cover later. But what you can do is you can go to delete and you can delete all of the content aliases. So I'll delete them all now. And then I can go to bulk update and I can create them all. So it would automatically regenerate all the URL aliases using my new pattern. So that's why that's kind of cool. Um, that usually comes in handy when you're doing development and you know, you're trying to set out your URLs. Uh, nice way to do that using bulk update and bulk delete. But that's it for this video tutorial. Again, if this helped you, please leave me a thumbs up or a comment. Let me know and we'll see you for the next video tutorial on cool Drupal modules. Thanks very much.